Controlling the depreciating city requires addressing the root causes with a coordinated approach. According to banking consultant Dr. Richmond Chiahini, a major cause of this menace is losses made in remittance inflows to Ghana. He says, since 2019, averagely, Ghana has lost about $3 billion every year on remittances. Our brothers and sisters in Ghana have struggled to go and work in Europe, isn't it? Germany, Canada, some of you have received money. Did you want to do see? Is it not see? Has anybody asked who is tracking the dollar, the pound, the yen, the facha, the euro? I bet you the Bank of Ghana is not tracking it. The central bank and relevant stakeholders are being charged to track, trace, and capture remittance inflows accurately. I tell you that last 2023, the World Bank told us that we were expecting 5.2 billion worth of remittances. Surprise, surprise. What came into this country is about 2.3 billion. The question is, what is the difference between what the World Bank said and what the Bank of Ghana captured? That is where the error is. And I'm saying that. Look at the discrepancies over the years, between 2019 up to now. I think we should revisit it and say that. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Your remittances alone will be able to help the currency stability, at least in the short term. Businesses and individuals suffer from the adverse effects of the depreciating CD as it comes with inflation, diminishing purchasing power, dwindling capital for businesses and sometimes leading to their collapse. For President of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Clement Osea Mwaku, consumers should brace for tougher times ahead. Every businessman needs profit, at least to break even and keep your business. And so they will certainly pass it on. We are not urging the private sector to push on costs to the consumer because they are also having difficulties even to survive. But in a situation where they cannot do away with it, the best way is to pass on to the consumer. The depreciating city remains an issue of keen interest requiring swift and urgent attention to ensure a stable economy.